Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to wrap text around images in Divi. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so let's start by creating a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here to pages, click on add new. We're going to give a page a name. So I'm going to call this wrap text around images in Divi because this is the example that we're working on. But of course, you could name your page whatever you want. And then next, I'm going to click on use Divi Builder. Now for this example, I'm gonna build everything from scratch. So I'm gonna choose this option here. And let's start by adding a single column. And in that column, we're gonna add a text module. So here I'm gonna select it. Now for this to work, we need a bunch of text. So I'm gonna come over here to Lauren uh, Ipsum. I'm just gonna copy this text and paste it in here because we need quite a lot of it. I'm just gonna adjust my paragraphs now. And in fact, we could actually add some more, some more paragraphs here just to Make sure we have enough to work with. So the next stage now is to add our image. So making sure you're in the visual tab and your mouse pointer is right here at the beginning of this paragraph. Click on add media. So now I'm gonna add my image. So I'm gonna click here on my image, click on select. And now you can see my image has been added. Now, if you just add it this way, you'll notice that um, this will just add the image in a weird way. But uh, the best way to do it, in fact, let me go ahead and delete this image. I'll show you a better way to do it. Okay, so again, my pointer is right here at the beginning of the word. If you click on add media, select the image. Over here now, you notice that we have these display settings. So right now, the alignment is set to none. But if you align it to the left, notice what happens. I'm going to click here on select. And this is beautifully placed in. And we have now have our image and our text around this image. Now, of course, you can align this to the right. You can align it center. It's all up to you how you do it, but it's always going to have this layout. And if you want to quickly align it to the right, you just press or you just click on the image and then you can just use the aligns here. So you can align center, you can align to the right. Okay, so in our next example, I'm going to add a blog quote. So I'm just going to enter here my text so that I enter it in its own line. So here with my cursor right here at the beginning of the word, I'm just going to click here on blog quote. And as you can see, it comes in and it's not styled. Now to style it, all I have to do now is to come to design, text, and I'm gonna choose this blog quote. So this will specifically make customizations to the blog quote itself here. So now I'm gonna go and choose my uh, text. So let's use something different here. I'm gonna use play fade display. So I'm gonna change my size to from 14 to 34. So it's nice and big. Now, if you want to add some inline styling, I have some CSS code that you can add. And this CSS code can be found on the post, which I'll link to in the show notes below. So to add it, all you have to do is to click here back here on content, text. And then I'm going to go to my text tab. And this is where you want to add your, your blog quote. So I'm just going to enter here and add it. So as you can see here, We've actually added it here. So let me just get rid of the one that I added here on the top. So if we still need to make a few adjustments to it, you can just come over here to design text, making sure you've got this selected, the blow quote icon. We can then come over here to the line height and just make sure that it's in place. So 1.1, I think is fine. So as you can see here, we've added some space around the blow quote. In the next example, I'm going to show you how to wrap text around an image by floating an image module next to the text module in Divi. So I'm just going to save this and then we're going to start by creating a new regular section. So I'm going to click this plus button. I'm going to use one column row. And this time we need to add an image module. Right, so let's go ahead and choose the image that we need to use here. So I'm going to come over here and this is the image I'm going to go with. And notice that the size I'm using is 400 by 250 pixels. Next, I'm going to click upload an image. So now that we have our image, I'm going to add a text module under the image. So I'm just going to click this plus button search for my text module. So now that we have the image and the text, now let's add the float. So I'm going to come over here to my image module, click on this gear icon, advanced, custom CSS. And on the main element, we are going to add the CSS code. And as you can see, it's float left. And this has now forced this to wrap around the image. Now, as you can see, my text here is way too close to my image. So we can fix that by going into our spacing options. So I'm going to click here on design spacing. And we're going to add 
a custom margin of 2%. So we're going to start with the uh, top and bottom. So I'm just going to click on this chain icon so I can apply uh, this, the sizes both to the left and the right. And then over here on the right of this image, we want also want to add a 2% margin so that we'd have enough breathing space around the image. And if you want to add your image to the right, you can also change the float and make it float to the right. So let me show you how to do that. So back over here on advanced, custom CSS, and then instead of floating left, you can always float right. And as you can see, this has changed the positioning. Now, you also need to come back over here and make sure in your spacing, you have you have 2% to the left. So I'm just going to change this around. So now you have a bit of space here now on the left. Now, you can also use the same technique on two columns. So let me just save this and show you how you can do that. So over here, I'm just going to split this and make it two columns. And I'm just going to duplicate this and drag one of them over here to the right. Okay, so I've set, in our next example, I've set these two columns. So let's add our image in these two columns. So this one here is going to be my first image. Click upload an image. So ideally, we need our image to be on the top. So I'm just going to save this and then drag it to the top. Now, as we did in our example, I'm going to float this to the left. So I'm going to click here on this gear icon, click on advanced custom CSS, and then we're going to float this to the left. So as you can see, this image here is way too big. So ideally, we want to go in and change the size. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to come back over here on design, sizing. So on the max width, we want to make sure that this is set to 33.3%. Okay, so now you can see our image is not as big. And also, we need to add our margins. So I'm just going to come back over here on spacing. And we're going to add 2% here the right and then we're going to also do the same for the top and the bottom so for this to really look nice what we'll need to do as well is to add a title to this so let's go ahead and do that so i'm just going to save this and then let's say we want to add the top line here as the title so i'm just going to enter a space and then we're going to give this a title so this could be heading three so i think that works better so this could be maybe our services save that and just by refer reversing my float uh, you can see here i've just changed the layout of this design okay so now you can go ahead and create even more examples on how to wrap text around images in divi so there you have it thank you all for watching if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms by doing so you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials until next time thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video